so in today's video we will be solving the 198 house robber problem it's a medium question so let's read the question you are a professional robber planning to rob houses along a street each house has a certain amount of money stashed the only content stopping you is from robbing each of them is that adjacent houses have security systems and connected it will automatically contact the police if two adjacent houses were broken into on the same night so you will be given a uh, few houses you have to rob those houses you have to take money from those houses but you can't rob the two adjacent houses if you do it uh, the it will alarm will trigger and it will call the police so you cannot do that so you have to rob the uh, not adjacent houses so if you see the first example so you can see in the nums we have four houses one two three one so in first house one one is there second house two third house three fourth house is one so let's see so like if you rob house one then you can rob the house three you can't rob the two and four like if you rob the two second house then you can't uh, rob the one and three you have to rob the th fourth house so here you can see uh, in the first case one plus three it is four in the second case two and four houses then it will be two plus one three so the maximum is 4 so you should drop the first house and the third house so that will be the answer so let's interpret this example in the diagrammatic way so yeah sorry first either you can rob the first house uh, if i rob the first house I will be left with the third house and the fourth house. That's the first possible. Like if I don't want to rob the first house, I will skip it. So then I have the second house, third house, and the fourth house. Options are available for me. So now let's see. In this area, either I can rob the third, I can rob the three or one. If I rob the three, I can't rob one. So I will left with empty array. So if I don't want to rob three, then I will be having only one. Then again moving further. So if I rob one, then I will be left nothing. Just skip it. Yeah. So so here in case you have to return the value. So here this is the one zero. So here the maximum value of this both is 1. So here 3. So here 3 and 1. So maximum of this both is 3. So here 1. 1 plus 3 equal to 4. This was the left side. So left side 3. Like if you see this side. So here in this case, if I rob this two, then I should have to skip the third house. Then I will be left with only one. So in other case, if I skip, if I don't want to rob two, then I will be left with three and one. So here you can see we already calculated the three one value here. That is the three. So so the answer will be three for this tree subtree so here this one also we already calculated here so the answer would be 1 so 2 plus 1 3 here 3 so the maximum is 3 so here you can see uh, this one and this one 1 plus 3 and this one and this one uh, 2 plus 1 so 3 and 4 4 is the maximum one now let's solve the second example also let's copy this Yeah. 
so now what we can do is we can uh, like let's say rob the first house then i will be left with seven so not seven so uh, left with nine three and one so in other case if i don't want to rob the first house then i have seven nine three one so next let's take this if i rob the three then i will be left with only one if i don't want to rob the nine then i will be left with three comma one so next here one so empty i think for three one we already solved it here so three one it is a three so we don't need to solve let's go this side mm. let's say let's rob the seven seven let's say seven plus i can't rob the nine so left with three one or i can skip the seven so i'll be having nine three one so next three one already done so if i take nine then i'll be left with only one so otherwise mm, can skip nine three comma one you can see on uh, 31 is 3 so this is 3 so 9 plus here 1 0 so it should be 1 9 plus 1 10 and 10 10 comma 3 which is max one this is a 10 is a max one so then so here to 2 plus 2 10 equal to 12 so let's see in this case so here the 9 plus 1 so here it is 10 so here it is 10 3 1 it is 3 so 10 3 which is max 10 is the max so here this one is this one is 3 so 7 plus 3 10 so here also 10 max 10 of 10 comma 10 so it will be 10 so the answer max of 12 comma 10 equal to 12 so the finally 12 is the answer now you can see here we are repeating the trace two more times uh, i will show you you can see 931 here 931 so in the left tree we already calculated the 931 mm, that is the 10 so we don't need to do the calculation for the in the right part so we can if we memorize the data from the previous uh, iterations so we can use that memorized data so it's a dp problem and it's a recursion recursive on dp so so you can see 12 is the answer 2 plus 9 plus 1 yeah 2 plus 9 plus 1 and yeah that's it now we will solve this problem in python and java so first we will be solving in java then we will do it in python also so first you need to create one hash map for memorizing the uh, tree so Hash map integer integer catch it hash map so we created one cache dictionary 
so now we need to create the function one more function to do the main process so we'll pass this hash map into that function so let's create that function put uh, private int deep int and position then int so we are getting the nums right so i'll keep it money so and one more thing we are placing the hash map also hash map integer comma integer catch it so we wrote a one more function dp so it's taking three arguments one is the position like which raw which house we are robbing and the money in those houses the list entire list and the cache in which we cache once we get the results at every subtree so if position greater than or equal to uh, money dot length that means we run out of the houses so we reach it to the end of the houses so in that case um, just return the zero return zero so now what you have to do is you have to check the tick the catcher before going into the further like so at position that position is available in the catcher so we'll get the data from the catch itself so if catcher dot contains key so position so here the value and the mapping the first one is integer and the second one is also integer so the first integer is position and the, that position that the subtree level from that position we are mapping it to the value that we generated by doing the calculations so that position contains in that catcher uh, then just return catch a dot get position so now you have to put the values in the catcher so that position where we started so initially we start with the first house so now you have to do the calculation here map the dot max money of uh, position so now here were two cases right so we get the money from the current uh, house and we skip the next adjacent house so and we will go to the third house so if we rob this position then what you can do is uh, you can recursively call dp so position plus to you can't drop the adjacent house so you are skipping one position to next uh, next you have to pass the money and catch it so that's the one case so the next case is uh, now what you can do is you can skip that position you can go to the next position dp of dp of position plus one you can skip one position and you pass the money and catch also just finally you return catch dot get in that position so here you call this function return dp of so we'll start with the zeroth position and we'll pass nums as a money and catch it so here one more semicolon that's it submit
नेट फर्स्ट सो हेरिया सबमिट ये सक्सेसफुली सबमिटेड नो वी विल राइट दिस कोड इन पाइथन सो इन पाइथन इट्स वेरी सिंपल सो विद इन फ्यू लाइन्स वी कैन राइट सो फर्स्ट लेट्स चेक द लेंथ ऑफ नंबर्स सो इफ एल लेंथ इक्वल टू वन जस्ट रिटर्न नंबर्स ऑफ जीरो इफ लेंथ इक्वल टू जीरो रिटर्न जीरो इफ लेंथ इक्वल टू टू जस्ट रिटर्न नंबर्स ऑफ नंबर्स यू कैन डू दिस थिंग्स इन जावा आल्सो जस्ट आई स्किप दे दे नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट सेल्फ डॉट नंबर्स इक्वल टू नंबर्स So I'll create one function here. DB self comma mm, length. The next one is the position. The next one is length. If position greater than length, so it's uh, went to the till a uh, last house in the row. In that case, just return zero. so otherwise return self not self max of self dot dp mm, here self dot once you have to get that value from the money i mean from the nums just then uh, increase the position to 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 next uh, skip the adjacent house and then just you pass the length as it is or you can skip the current position you can go to the next position step dot dp position plus 1 comma length so coming to the memory caching so here i will give you the one suggestion so to save your time so in the python there is a function called lru cache so if you use that the decorator so it automatically in the background it catches the results it monitors the uh, every function call and puts the result in the stack and uh, gets the data from there so you don't need to write extra code for that but in all cases it doesn't work only some cases it will work so in it won't work for the arrays and all just it only works for uh, single variables or single strings so lru catch you can Pass the memory limit, so I'm keeping none. It means can take can take the maximum extent. So here return dp self or dp zero comma minus one. So submit so done thank you guys i will see you in the next video